In this video, we're going to be looking at the derivatives of logarithmic and exponential functions. And um, we're going to learn the basic rules and then practice using these derivatives in conjunction with all the other rules that we have been um, learning. For instance, the chain rule and the product rule and the quotient rule. So we're going to put them all together into a few problems. Okay, so here's our new derivative rules that we have. So first, we have a couple of rules that are based on logs. So the derivative of a natural log is 1 over the thing that's inside the log, so 1 over x. And then if we have a base on our log that is different than base e, which is what um, natural log is, then we have this extra little factor here of the natural log of b. So for instance, if we're trying to take the derivative of, um, let's say, log base 2 of x, we're going to get 1 over x times the natural log of 2. So we have this extra little factor of the natural log of 2. Okay, so now let's look at the exponential functions. So if the, you're taking the derivative of e to the x, you just get e to the x. Um, and then if we're doing a different base other than base e, then just like with the log, we have an extra factor of the natural log of b. So for instance, if we were trying to take the derivative of 2 to the x, it's going to look like 2 to the x times the natural log of 2. So we have this extra factor of the natural log of 2. Okay, so let's look at an example here. We've got our function, which is e to the 4x squared plus 2x minus 1. So um, this looks like an exponential function, so we're probably going to use that rule d dx of e to the x just gives us e to the x. So we're going to use that rule. But when I'm looking at my function here, inside my exponent, I've got something more complicated than just plain old x. I've got that 4x squared plus 2x minus 1. So I have something inside my exponent that is um, another function in itself. So we've got layers on our function, just like we did in the last section. So that means we are going to need to use the chain rule in addition to this exponential rule. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our derivative here. So if we're going to take our derivative, it's going to look like f prime of x is the name. And we're going to first take the derivative of the outside function. So in a sense here, the outside function is the e to the exponent part. So the derivative of the outside is just e to that, um, that um, inside. But then we have to multiply, because we've got the chain rule going on here, we have to multiply by the derivative of that inside function. Okay, so this is going to look like e to the 4x squared plus 2x minus 1 times the derivative of that 4x squared plus 2x minus 1. So we're going to get e to that 4x squared plus 2x minus 1 times, now we're ready to take the derivative of that exponent, so we have 8x plus 2. Okay, so you could, if you wanted to, so this is our answer here, f prime of x equals this, you could write this so it looks a little nicer if it's written like 8x plus 2 times the exponential part, but um, this answer is just fine also. Okay, so let's look at another one. So in this one, 
we have the same type we actually have the same inside function notice we've still we've got that 4x squared plus 2x minus 1 so that is going to be our inside function and we're going to use that chain rule again but we also need to use that um, derivative of a log rule so the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x so if we're going to take this derivative we're going to take the derivative of our outside function so that means we're going to use that ln rule that's this one right here but we're going to also need to use that chain rule okay and when we take the derivative of the inside we're going to have to use the power rule so that's kind of like our game plan here okay so derivative of the natural log part is 1 over that inside function so whatever's inside our natural log we put 1 over that but then we need to multiply by the derivative of that inside function okay so this is going to end up looking like 1 over 4x squared plus 2x minus 1 and then we're going to multiply by the derivative of the inside so the derivative of 4x squared plus 2x minus 1 that is 8x plus 2 so this is you can leave your answer just like this or if you want to you can write it as one fraction looks a little cleaner this way you could write 8x plus 2 over 4x squared plus 2x minus 1 so there's our answer okay so in this one um, we have a function that has one of these exponentials so this is an exponential function but and we, we know that because we've got a base here which is a number and it's 1.07 and it's raised to a power that's got your variable so that means we're going to need to use that exponential rule okay so we have two exponential rules we have the one for e to the x right so that just gives us e to the x but we also have that one when our base is something different than e and in this case um, we have a different base so we have b to the x so we get b to the x times the natural log of b so it looks fairly similar to the e to the x one but you've got that extra factor of the natural log of b so in the one that we're looking at right now our base is that 1.07 okay so let's go ahead and get go started um, our game plan is we're gonna have to use that exponential rule and we're using this one but we also when I look at this we need to use um, the chain rule also because this rule works when I have just a plain x in the exponent see how this is just plain x but in the one that I have here I have negative t so because I don't have just plain t in that exponent I have um, negative t I'm gonna have to use that chain rule and when I take the derivative of that exponent I'm gonna have to use the power rule okay so we're ready to get started here um, we're gonna start with our derivative first since I have y equals notation I'm gonna use dy dt to indicate my derivative so the name of my derivative is dy dt okay this 300 here that is just a constant multiplier see how it's just a, a number there's no t's in this and I'm multiplying it so it's a constant multiplier and remember with constant multipliers they just kinda go along for the ride so I'm just gonna carry that 300 along now I'm ready to take the derivative of my um, exponential part so that's gonna be 1.07 to the negative t 
And then we also have this factor of natural log of b. So that would be natural log of 1.07. But I'm not done yet, because remember, I've got this exponent here that is more complicated than just plain old x. So I have to multiply by the derivative of that exponent. So I have to multiply by the derivative of negative t. So we're going to get dy dt equals 300 times 1.07 to the negative t times the natural log of 1.07. And then the derivative of negative t, that just gives us negative 1. Okay, now I don't like how this is written, and so I probably would move this negative 1 over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that using the eraser. So instead of having this negative 1 here, I'm going to go like this and stick a negative out in front here. It's just easier to read than having that negative 1 tail off at the end. Okay, so now um, we have another one here. We have f of x equals the square root of x times natural log of x. Okay, so let's first come up with a, a game plan on this. When I'm looking at this function, it looks to me like I've got two functions that are being multiplied. And if you listen to how I read it, you can hear how it's being multiplied. I said f of x equals the square root of x, that's this function here, and it's being multiplied times this natural log of x. So I've got two functions that are being multiplied, so the main or the first rule that I need to think about is that product rule. Okay, so when I'm doing the product rule, I have to take the derivative of this thing and the derivative of this thing. So when I'm taking the derivative of the square root of x, I just use the power rule. And when I take the derivative of the natural log of x, I use the um, log rule. Okay, so before we actually start doing a derivatives, let's rewrite this square root of x as x to the one half, and then we have times the natural log of x. Okay, so again, we've got two functions here. We've got the square root of x function, or x to the one half, and then we also have this other function, which is the natural log of x function. Okay, so when you're doing the derivative of a, a product, what you need to do is you need to take um, the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of that second. So in this example, our first function is the x to the one-half, and our second function is the natural log of x. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on our derivatives. So the name is f prime of x. Here we're going to have the derivative of the first, so let's go ahead and, and put some extra notation in this one. So we're going to have the derivative of x to the one-half, and I'm going to multiply that by the natural log of x plus um, x to the one-half times the derivative of that natural log of x. So these, um, these two factors here, I, I have to do the derivative. Okay, so the derivative of x to the one-half is one-half x to the negative one-half times the natural log of x plus we have our x to the one-half and the derivative of the natural log of x is one over x. Okay, so you could leave your answer just like this if I'm asking you not to simplify. But if we want to simplify a little, it would look like um, one half x to the minus one half 
natural log of x. And here, I can combine those two powers of x, and I could write that as um, x to the negative one half. So it's um, the exponent on this x is one, so I can subtract those exponents since I'm dividing the x's and get x to the negative one half. You could further simplify if you wanted to, but this this is good. Okay, so I want to do one more. So I want to take the derivative of this thing, and um, I have in this one x's in different places and twos in different places. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want you to see how um, where that two is makes a big difference in how where and where the x is makes a big difference in how you take the derivative. When I look at this thing, this is x squared, so I have the variable as the base, a number as the exponent, so that means I'm going to have to use the power rule. When I look at this one, I probably would rewrite that as x one half times x to the negative one, and I would also use the power rule. Here, this term doesn't have any x in it, so this is just a constant, right? And this last one, since my v um, number is my base and my variable is in my exponent, that means I'm going to use the exponential rule. So pause the video and take a moment to f come up with a derivative. Okay, so you're back. So here, the derivative of x squared, that was just the 2x. I rewrote that second term as 1 half x to the negative 1, and I used um, the power rule again on the second one. The derivative of 2 is just 0, and I could leave off that 0, so I could just completely erase that part. And then the derivative of the 2 to the x is 2 to the x times the natural log of 2. So check back for another video on derivatives of logs and exponentials where we're combining lots of different rules together.